This is the Mao. And the, the problem is, <laughs> this area right from here, right from here, was actually a forest all the way. All this, all this area here, from here, was a forest all the way up to here. Okay, so that is that's what we refer to as the Mao complex. But in the Mao complex now, what is left of the forest is this is this patch here, and this patch here, and you can see this patch is highly invaded from this side. that we, on average, per year we lose about 54 square kilometers of tree cover. So then that means that um, in the next 20 or 30 years, you can imagine that we shall be a complete desert going by the current um, rate of deforestation. But uh, quite significantly, we find that eight in every 10 trees that is cut is actually inside the forest. So if 80% of the trees that is cut is in the forest, then we shall lose the forest completely. Badeas, and uh, for practical purposes, you can actually see that the Badeas, uh, the only forest that the Badeas has is this one, this one here. If you, if you were to look, you can see from here, you see from here, this, if, if, you, if you think about it, I could just draw a line here, move out like that move out like this, you can even see it here. I can just draw a line where the forest was supposed to be. But you see, this is not happening today. It is something that happened a while ago. But then, in Mount, in, in Abadeas, we say it, we need to protect the Abadea because it's a major catchment of the Tana River. And therefore, we did fencing. We, we actually literally did a fence. Now, the question is, has the fence done some, has the fence, has the fence helped? This is the tea estate in uh, Limuru, and uh, you, ca you can just see for yourself that uh, the, 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 the survival of this forest is minimal from what is happening around. You see, this is the Nyayo, this is the Nyayo tea zone. So this is the line that the Nyayo said that we are going to protect our forest, and then they put the line inside. But you see, people have gone in here beyond the the Nyayo T zone. They have gone in into the forest area. And that is that is what worries some of us who are concerned. You see, like here, they have even now crossed over and uh, this is now a fragmented forest. So even if it was a good forest, there's no communication for habitat. Because what is here, some animals can't move through here. They basically confine themselves here and it creates what we call in the breeding. If you are to think now about biodiversity and things like that, it brings in an issue of biodiversity. But you see this fragmentation, that's one block. Then there's this block that is fragmented. And then there's a small thing that is uh, already gone. And then from there now you go to the main mount, to the main part of the mountain. But even you can see in the main part of the mountain, there is a road here crossing over. And most likely there is already from the boundary line, you can already see that the people are also going in to the, to the forest. Wherever land is and wherever something is, there are people who live there. There are people already living there. And those people should be given the opportunity to manage the resource that is with them, but guided on the type of uh, 
designated use. You designate the use of that land. You are told if you are living here near Mount Kenya, the designated use of this land is this one. But you can use the land only in that manner. But you say I cannot police you, so you agree as a community that uh, we need this benefit. And uh, for us to benefit from our land, we need to do what the government is telling us so that we also benefit our, ne our neighbors, our people, the people downstream. Thank you.